Hey, you wanna come see the tree? Yeah! You wanna come see what I did with it? They are so excited to see that tree. Yeah? What do you think? It looks beautiful. Oh, thank you. It does. <laughs> Thanks for bringing the extra decorations. Ours have gotten kind of scattered over the years. Can we stay here tonight, Mommy? Oh, um, you know what? Santa knows where you live, and we don't want to confuse him. But you know what? We're going to write Santa a note that says we will all be together next year, okay? Okay. Okay, here, why don't you take your brother and go upstairs in the playroom? You guys can have a cookie, okay? okay. Yeah. There you go. Here you go. Okay, this way. Watch your playroom. Brother. Here, brother's got your cookie. Go on, go get him before he eats it. <laughs> oh. Ah. That was, uh, that was an excellent answer. Huh. Maybe, but you will always be a better storyteller than I am. Well, we can thank my dad for that. Do you think he's going to show up? I don't know. He knows he's invited, so is Tracy. Not sure what else I can do. Bobby's in Seattle with Lucas. And Graham and Steve are feeding the homeless tonight, but they are coming over for dinner tomorrow night. Really? Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. Nicholas and Spencer should be here. Maybe that's them. Ethan. Hey, Merry Christmas. Come on in. you can make it. Thank and you. you're bearing gifts, which is even better. Yeah. What do you got there? Well, we got rum, fruit cake, and jelly beans for the Joeys. Oh, yay. More sugar. Oh, that's <laughs> what Christmas is all about, yeah? You're right. Thank you. <laughs> hey, guys, look what Ethan brought you. Any luck with Dad? No, sorry, mate. Happy holidays, Lucky. These for the children. All right. I, uh, I'll get the door. I tried to convince your father to come, but he wouldn't budge. Well, glad you're here anyway. Thank you. I'm going to spend Christmas Day with the Quartermains all day, so it'll make the uh, Christmas Eve with the Spencers quite enjoyable by comparison. Uh, sounds like she's finally warming up, eh? <laughs> oh, you can be quiet and make me a drink. Right about your dad. Oh, it's okay. You know, he told me from the start that he wasn't going to show up. I was just hoping he'd change his mind. You know, holidays aren't his thing. No, it's more than that. He's been dealing with something for a while now. I just wish he would tell me what it is. Well, maybe Christmas isn't the best time to deal with it. Maybe it's the perfect time. You know what? I still have some time. I'm gonna go see him, okay? I'll be back as soon as I can, okay? I love you. Hey, cowboy. Hey, Dad. Why are you, uh, sitting here alone? I'm not alone. You're here. Ethan was here. Tracy was here. The place has been Grand Central Station all night. Can you uh, tell me what's been going on with you lately? I just brewed some coffee. Have you got time for a cup? Sure, yeah. Come on. Mom called this morning. Oh? Yeah, she, uh, she wants me and Elizabeth to bring the kids to Paris next year for Christmas. Well, that would be nice. Paris is so beautiful at Christmas time. Do you remember that year that we were stranded there through the holidays? You were just a kid, I don't know, eight, nine years old maybe. And we had that cheap walk-up apartment in Pigalle behind Moulin Rouge. From the front you could see the gutter, from the mm. back you could see Sacré-Cœur. Yeah. Were you doing some sort of uh, art scam with a cab driver or something? Was that then? Yeah. What, yeah. Was, what was that guy's name? Uh, Jean-Pierre Le Bon. Yeah. From Marseille. Yeah, I remember him. He was a good guy. <laughs> really good guy. 
Did, she, did he come to Christmas dressed as Santa Claus? Was that the same guy with a bunch of presents and everything? That was Jean-Pierre. That was him? I talked him into doing Santa <laughs> Claus for us one year. Yeah. Yeah, that was sweet. Your mother had found that scrawny old tree and decorated it beautifully and put her angel on the top. That was sweet. Man, I haven't thought about that in a long time. <laughs> Me either. I loved my childhood, Dad. Did you? Yeah, and you and Mom, you gave me an incredible life. It's the kind of life most people only dream about. That well, was a long time ago. Yeah, I miss those times. But there's no going back, is there? People make choices. Some of it's pretty ugly. It's hard not to carry the damage with you, you know? But that doesn't mean that the good didn't happen. Because it did. It doesn't mean that the love wasn't real because it was. You know what I've been noticing lately? It's all these little miracles. Like Ethan and I managing to be in the same room together. Me staying sober. Elizabeth and I stumbling onto the perfect property for our new house. They're everywhere. Dad, I've, I've been seeing them. I've been seeing them lately. They're happening all the time. And all we have to do is just not look away. That's what I'm asking for tonight. Not some huge miracle. Just a small one. Just my dad with me on Christmas Eve. That would really make me happy. I know that you'll be coming back home. 